I'm here on the Mazak stand and John Hyde and myself are enjoying a little bit of hospitality. Uh, this is John Hyde from John Hyde Engineering and I just want to talk to John about his experience uh, and history with Mazak as a company. So thank you for joining me today, John. Well, we started with Mazak in 2001, September the 4th to be exact. That was the day the first machines arrived. Um, we chose Mazak having recognized that we could no longer compete on our old NC machines. We simply couldn't get any new work because they were too slow and they weren't accurate enough. So we uh, took the double or quits decision, put everything we had into a new FMS. We wanted automation, we wanted no setup times. Uh, and bought one FH 8800 uh, with uh, eight pallets initially, and then after a year uh, increased it to 22 pallets with a second FH 8800. Those two machines became the most productive we've ever had, and we sold them last year to replace them with the uh, later technology from Mazak. So, you know, you've got how many machines? Let's start off with how many machines have you got from Mazak? Uh, currently about 13 or so, I don't really count them. <laughs> You've lost count almost. <laughs> uh, well, we don't count them really. It's, it's, we, we count more what, how we perform with our customers and the, the machines are a means to that end, of course. Do you feel that over the time that you bought the machines, much has changed? Yes, it has. We were fortunate in choosing the FH series j just as it appeared in Britain. In fact, we were the first customers in Britain um, apart from their own factory, but we got ours going first. And they had chip-to-chip -chip times of six seconds, which compared with the older machines of about 35, made one heck of a difference in earning capacity per annum and rapids of 40 meters at that time. Um, things have changed. Um, reliability uh, has improved. It wasn't bad, but it's become superb with new machines, and that probably applies to all new machines. And so tell me about your journey with Mazak. Why do you choose, I mean, you're talking about 13 machines, they're big purchases to make. So why do you choose Mazak? Well, we looked around in 2001, um, and uh, to be perfectly frank, we couldn't afford German machines, um, <laughs> which were more robust. And we're people who like belt embracers and robustness. And at that time, we thought the Mazak machines were a bit flimsy, but after 17 years of 24-hour running, um, we've changed our minds about that. <laughs> okay, and tell me about your, your experiences, because at the end of the day, it's like anything. Things can break down, they're machines at the end of the day. So there's going to be peaks and troughs. So how have you come out of any situations? Because it can't just be all smooth running. Well, that's another one of the other reasons why we've continued to use Mazak. You get to know the product, and the simple things are simple. Uh, daft little things like batteries on memory, for example. Um, and the major things uh, we also recognize as they happen, which uh, thankfully are comparatively rare. Yeah. And, and what about, say, if things, something's gone wrong, they're after sales. That's what, you know, the reason why as well. Do you buy a machine purely for after sale? Um, no, when you buy a machine, you buy it because it's got the right specification, and then you learn about that afterwards. Um, and of course, you learn that through uh, your own mistakes and, and maybe um, the supplier's mistakes in some ways. But um, the important thing is to bring the machine back to original specification, which does happen every time. And we can't complain about that at all. <laughs> and so, John, sell me Mazak almost. The reason to why you would buy Mazak over maybe other people in the industry. Well, we're a subcontractor at the bottom of the pile, uh, and we do what our customers want. And, and the two things they want these days, above anything else, is on-time delivery and to specification. And geometric tolerances have, have suddenly appeared um, over the last 10 years, and they're extremely difficult to achieve. And, and you need an accurate machine, and you need a repeatable machine, and you need one that doesn't break down, and um, so you can deliver. And that's what you're saying Mazak do? Uh, that's what we've found so far. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, John. I think we're just going to sit and relax and enjoy a coffee and an orange juice, shall we? Great. Not a bad idea. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.